Hi, I'm Noelle Cristina. Welcome to our ninth day of Christmas Yoga Challenge. Are you ready for that? So I see you in your mat so we can start calling upon our gurus. I invite you to find your own perfect seat for today. Straight your spine, feel your seat bones connected to the floor, connected to the heart of Mother Earth. Inhale, bring your inhalation all the way up to your spine, to the top of your head, connecting with the heart of Father Sky. And as you exhale, bring it your awareness to your own heart center and your hands in prayer right in front of your heart. Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hare He Take this moment to bring your own personal intention your sankalpa, the reason why you're here, what brought you to your mat today. And I invite you to breathe into that intention. Hold the inhalation at the top. Exhale through your mouth to slow with control. Inhale again all the way to the top. Hold the inhalation in, relax all the muscles of your body. Exhale. Inhale, one less sun, all the way to the top. Hold the inhalation in. And slowly sigh it out. Rest your hands on your knees, keep your eyes closed, stay in stillness and in silence for a couple of breaths, just reconnecting with the present moment, noticing the thoughts, noticing your body. Noticing you. Before you do any movement, I invite you to visualize in your mind how you're going to get into child's pose from the position that you are now, doing the least movement, the least sound, keeping your eyes closed, just tr trusting your own body.
here in child's pose, imagine that you are in a frozen lake. And in this child's pose, you can look through the ice and see underneath the clear lake. What do you see? What is underneath your own frozen lake? Is calling your attention With your next inhalation, you're going to rise up to tabletop position. Tuck your toes. Align your head with your spine. Tuck a little bit your tailbone. Hold this strong tabletop position. And just pick it up your knees off the floor. Look to the left with just your neck, look to the right, back to center, just with your neck, look to your belly button, and then look it forward, and then back to child's pose, with your toes tucked, open the knees as wide as the yoga mat, and go back to look beneath the surface, looking inside, looking within, Next inhalation, back to tabletop position, knees on the floor first, find the perfect alignment, and pick it up the knees off the floor, looking forward, look it to your belly button, just moving the cervical, not rounding the spine. Back to center, look to the right, back to center, look to the left, hello, look to the center, and go to downward facing dog, exhaling. Always bringing your chest closer to your thighs. Find the stillness in downward facing dog. Try to bring your heels towards the floor and stretch your knees to find that sweet stretching point in the back of your legs and your glutes, your back. Walk your hands towards your feet, stay in forward fold, adjust 
your feet to be underneath your hips. Drop your head and just look from side to side. Just moving your cervical. Now look forward and towards your belly button. Find the stillness in your forward fold. You can keep your knees micro bend or straight. Whatever is working for you today. Relax the head a lot. You're staying here for 10 breaths. The same breath we did at the beginning in the meditation, exhaling through the mouth. Every time you exhale, you can go deeper in the forward fold. Three more breaths to go. You're going to bring your head towards your chest and slowly you're going to make your way up vertebrae by vertebrae with no rush and the head is going to be the last one. And you are in Tadasana. Inhale, bring the hands touching to your thighs. You're going to inhale, slowly bring the arms up. Rise up and really slow drop the arms. You're going to start dropping your body back to the forward fold, but really slow. Like the snow and it's falling from the sky. Inhale and exhale. Two breaths. Inhale, you're making your way up, and the arms this time go up as well. And you start bending a little bit of your spine back. Inhale, exhale back on the forward fold. We can go a little bit faster than normal time. Staying forward fold. So this is our flow. We are holding down for three breaths, rising up, coming back in down. Inhale, make your way up. Go to back bend. Exhale back 
to forward fold and now we are staying down for two breaths. Inhale, make your way up. Back bend, maybe a little more. Exhale, forward fold, and now we are holding just for one breath down. Inhale, all the way up. So now we are going straight up and straight down. Back bend, exhale, straight down. Inhale, straight up. Back bend. Straight down, you can bring more mobility to your spine and your arms, like spine waves. No pause here. Straight to forward fold, straight to back bend. You can bend the knees too, bringing more mobility to the legs. Make sure to breathe. Last one. We are back on forward fold. Little pulse up and down and go into the right side. Back to center. Go into the left. And keep doing this. Pulsing from side to side. Back to center, you're gonna use your peace finger to grab your big toes. You're gonna press your big toes a lot on your index finger and middle finger. You're gonna bend the elbows to the side, suck your belly button in, inhale, exhale, bend the elbow and bring your head towards your knee. Relax the neck, the scapulas. Inhale, straight the arm. We're going to look forward. Your tailbone goes straight back and up. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows forward, fold. Inhale, look it forward. Exhale, forward fold, elbows open to the side. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Let it go of your hands and bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your hands and shoot your hands up to the sky as much as you can. Try to keep your palms together, no space between the palms, head from side to side. I know this is a hard one, but you got it. I know you're doing your best, like you always do. And let it go. You're gonna now slide your hands underneath both of your foot, and you're gonna press your toes on top of your hand to get a nice uh, stretch. Relax the head and hold here. <sighs> Always bring the exhalation to where you're feeling the tightness. And whatever you are thinking of giving up, remember of all the things you overcame. 
and breathe. Use your exhalation to let it go of that thought. And remember, you're here observing your body, your thoughts. And take off your hand. You can micro bend the knees a little bit. Relax the head. Hold opposite elbows. And let it go. Inhale, make your way up. Head is the last. Stay in Tadasana and observe your body. I'm going to take a big step with the right hand, right hand, right leg forward. Turn the left leg so you are in Virabrada, Virabradasana 2, Warrior 2. Bend your right leg a lot. I personally like to wiggle my toes to create more space to make sure that my knees is right on top of the ankle. And you're going to press on the outside of your left leg, your hips, your pelvis, your groins are open facing me. And the knees go towards the middle toe. Open your arms, look to the middle nail, to the middle finger in your right hand. Relax the shoulders down and observe, meditate. Imagine that you're frozen. You're holding for 10 breaths. Try to relax all the muscles of your face, all the tension in the mind, the physical body, and even emotional body. Look your pelvis in. Five more breaths. So the beauty of Warrior Two is that the right arm the forward arm represent the future and you're always looking with focus to the future but you are in the present moment in the center and your back arm the left arm in this case represents the past you're not looking to the past you acknowledge the past you acknowledge the future but you're in center, you live the present. Go to Peaceful Warrior, relax the back arm, right arm, forward arm, up and bend. Keep the same alignment of the leg. Inhale back to Warrior Two. Straight your right leg, your front leg. Make knee in the center. Just inhale, open the arms up, look up. Exhale, arm down, head down. So the legs don't move. Dance with this. Arm up, head up. Exhale, arm down, head down. Which music are you playing in your mind, in your emotions right now? Exhale. Warrior two on the other side. So you already know the setup of your body. Look to the middle finger of the left arm. Acknowledge the past. 
focus on the future, but most importantly, be present in the now. And we are holding for 10 breaths. Peaceful warrior. Inhale back to warrior two. And meet me in the center. Arms down. Wiggle up shoulders and arms. Arms up. Micro back bend. Exhale, forward fold with the legs straight and open. Inhale, arms up. Bend back. Exhale. No pause. Bend the knees. Inhale, all the way up. Back bend. Exhale, all the way down. Bend the knee. We are dancing. Bring your own rhythm now. You can add any movement you feel. And you're staying forward fold with the legs open wide. Relax the head down. <coughs> Bring the hands right beneath your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees. Bring your head to the floor. Or at least towards the floor. Inhale. Come up. Flat back. Exhale. Head towards the floor again, bend the elbows. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Last one. And if you can touch your head on the floor, you can grab your ankle and stay here. Or even your big toe you can grab okay inhale make your way to flat back I'm gonna give you the option to go to a, a headstand from here if you don't have headstand practice I invite you to Work it on that this side, on the outside, I mean. If you do, you go ahead and do so. And you're more than welcome to stay just in forward fold because forward fold, it is inversion already. Every position that the head is below the heart is an inversion, okay? And if you are in your moon cycle, your menstruation cycle, Please don't practice any inversions because that will change the energy flow within your body. Okay? See you on your headstand or in your firefold. So if you're going from here, you place the top of your head on the floor. Elbows are bent. You use your toes mobility to move So 
but this is the tripod. Make your way back, flat back, walk your legs to center, whatever you are. You're all in forward fold with the legs beneath the hips. Inhale, make your way up slowly. And we are in Tadasana. We are ending our practice meditating in Tadasana. So notice the weight of your legs, the pressure on your feet, and try to get light. Maybe you take off a little bit, your legs off the floor, and then you go back to Tadasana. Exhale. Bring your hands in center, connect your roots with the heart of Mother Earth, connect your crow chakra with the heart of Father Sky, exhale and bring it everything to your own heart center. Bring your hands to your forehead, bow down to your heart in gratitude. Be grateful for your ability to move, your ability to breathe. Be free, be true, be real, be you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And I see you on our next one. Bye-bye.